The new economic order. Will China and India eclipse the United States as the world's new powerhouse economies? Hello, I'm Arnold Naidu and this is The Heat. The global economy could be facing a major shakeup. A new report by Standard Chartered Bank predicts that China will unseat the United States as the dominant economic power as soon as next year. Coming in second by 2030, India, with America falling to third place. Seven of the top ten economies could belong to emerging markets. For more, we turn now to our newsroom and CGTN's White House correspondent Nathan King. And uh, Nathan, what more do we know about this report? What's behind its uh, conclusions? Yeah, hi, Anna. Well, it's not the first report to say that China and India will be bigger economies by the 2030 than the US, but it's the latest and exhaustive, about 50 pages in all. One qualifier, the predictions are based on PPP, that's Purchasing Power Parity, which takes into account how much cheaper things are in countries like China and India than, say, the US. But what's really interesting about this report is it talks very much not just about growth, but the type of growth that we're going to see from the Asian economies. As we know, there were headlines around the world when China logged its lowest growth rate in 20 years for 2018. But the Standard Charter report gets beyond these headlines, correctly saying that slowing growth is normal for developing countries after a long period of very rapid growth. And actually, healthy. It also echoes Chinese economic policy stemming from the 19th Party Congress, which says it will focus on more sustainable and quality growth, moving away from speedy, invest, uh, speedy investment like dependence on investment and infrastructure development, which of course comes with a lot of debt, to a much more consumer and services-based growth, which of course is more sustainable and, and broad. And what the report also highlights is they, a growth rate of 4.8% for China between 2018 and 2030 is essentially the equivalent of a growth rate of 10% in the last decade because the Chinese economy is just so much bigger now, Anna. So, Nathan, this report is, of course, an economic forecast, but if it comes to pass, what kind of effects uh, could it have across the United States, Europe and beyond? Yeah, what's really interesting in this study is how it sees Asia generally in 2030. Look, right now, most of the world's goods are, are now made, made in Asia. But this report says most global goods will be consumed in Asia by 2032. Its predictions for the middle class growth are higher for both China, India and throughout the region, Indonesia too. Uh, this will mean that even if the USA, Europe and other richer countries remain richer per person, than their Asia counterparts by 2030, Asia will still be the engine of growth for the planet, meaning US firms, EU firms, and many others will become much more dependent on Asian markets, Asian consumers, especially for services. And of course, you know, predictions always don't pan out, especially economic ones. Remember Japan in the 1980s, Brazil, Russia. But this report is confident that even with headwinds like in China, for example, aging population and the growth of social safety nets and other challenges, the 21st century is Asian and there's no getting around it. Back to you. Thanks, Nathan. That's CGTN's Nathan King reporting from our newsroom.